What's up, guys? Welcome to Satisfactory 1.0, the Unlocked series. Thanks for joining me. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Quick build montage, we we'll get this done, and then we'll talk about our next step, which is probably steel plates. And maybe something else, I don't know. Depends on how much time I've got left. Grab a wild pop, sit back, relax. We're gonna build some stuff.
All right, it doesn't look terrible. Uh, I, I messed with the coloring, but I just, I love orange and green for the channel, but it does not look good on machines. I messed around with it, so I'm gonna have to change that around a bit. I got lights hooked up. These are strange. They shine below, but they emit light up top too. I don't know, it's really weird. You got the big floodlights up top. I changed the color of the piping and the pumps, the splitters. I don't know, I guess it came out pretty good. It's better than nothing. Tried to keep the wiring uh, as clean as possible, but it's not very easy. Now let's see what kind of power we're putting out. 408.3 megawatts being used. We got a pretty flat line. Everything should be exactly where it needs to be. Now none of this really matters because I have power unlocked. So... This just tells us how efficient everything is running. And it's running very efficient. Everything's flat. All machines are running. They never stop. I'd say that's a win. Now it's time to start another project, another factory. Yeah, it does look good. I'm not unhappy with that. Alright, enough, enough staring at my whatever this is. We have plans. All right, I got the initial layout done. It's going to change a bit. This is going to change a little bit. This is just a platform for me to work on and make sure I don't have or I don't run out of room. But the ultimate goal here, I don't know why these guys are lit up. It's kind of strange, but OK, I don't know. So there's going to be 20 constructors up here and then this floor is going to come out. I think it's a four by. I forgot it comes out to, I think, right here or maybe right here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So right now I'm going to get the bottom floor laid out with the constructors and then we'll hook up all the mergers and splitters and belts and then we'll start on the top floor. So those are all the mergers and splitters. So we have mergers right here. This one's going to be three up. Splitters right here and right here. 
These are mergers. So all these are going to come out here. These are coming out. These are going to come out right here. And right here. Now we just got to hook up the belts. As you can see, I made a boo-boo. That's not supposed to be curving like that. So one of these... I think I have this row messed up. But instead of changing everything, we're just going to move these splitters. Yep, totally fine. So there's that, and then we go over here. And that one is done. This is for the screws. And then the same thing on this side. Right, it doesn't look too bad. There's a little more room I care for right here, but we can always add more constructors if we need more screws go out this way too but that's 300 screws a minute I don't think we're gonna need much more than that for a long while all right for this one we're gonna have to use the conveyor it's gonna look strange because they're so close together but it should work I think I hope it works I don't know we'll find out it doesn't look bad but I don't know if that'll actually work I haven't tried it It really doesn't look that bad though. It looks like it belongs there. Alright, hooking up the belts. These are split though, so five go on this side, five go on that way. Um, actually we don't need this here. Alright, so now we have this side making rod, and then this side will also be making rod, and then they're just going to merge together into eventually a storage system. I think I'm going to make this a road up here. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that just yet. Still very, very early into the game, into this series. We're going to save this node right here, which is pure. Where is it? Where the hell is it? Oh, it's right here. That's pure... Iron, or whatever it's called. What do they call it? Pure iron, or uh, iron ore, pure. For something larger. And uh, we'll just use these normal. Use the normal for this stuff. Alright, now we gotta hook this up, which is... Well, it's strange. Uh, because I have it so close in together. Let's see. Um, it's the output, and it's going over this way. First we start like this, three stacked mergers, all facing this direction. Then we get rid of the bottom two. And the best thing about this design, I, well, I'm sure there's better designs out there, is it's expandable. You can easily expand this, as long as you're using the alternate recipe, because that's what we're doing for the screws. Cast screws, not the normal. Alright, so now we take the conveyors. The conveyor lifts. Like that. Now this one, we don't need to do that. Actually, we can hook this conveyor back up. We're just going to do a merger. Oh, you know what? I think we do have to, because this is going to be in the way of that track. So we do have to do that. Uh, we're going to face this one, though, facing in, I think. Actually, you know what? I don't know what we're going to do. No, we're going to face it out. Figure that out in a minute. There, just like that. Hook up the belts and then do the same thing on this side.
All right, and there it is. There's the first floor. It's all plumbed up. With any luck, it just works. And all I'll have to do is overclock and I don't have to adjust anything. I probably should have pushed these further back because it's a little tight in here. But it doesn't look bad. It's pretty organized. There's a couple voids in here. We can add to it. Actually, we can add a shit ton of screws. But, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll put like a picnic table or something in there. I don't know. Or just ignore it because I don't care. Um, alright. Top floor. Alright, this top side is pretty simple. It's just ten constructors. Uh, they're facing out. So the inlet's gonna be on the ins inside, in the center. And we just start it kind of wherever you want, actually. So I'm gonna start it right here. And just put five on this side, five on this side. And we put the splitters here, all the way down. And then the mergers will go up front. And then everything's gonna come out right here. Just like that, and now we hook them up. Oh, actually, no, I forgot right here. Uh, these are mergers, and they're going to go... This way. You know what I just realized? What did I do wrong here? Oh. I need these here. Okay. Now we're good. Now we put the mergers. We're splitting it down the center, though. So, five going this way, and five going that way. The first one you don't need. Uh, do we? No. So we just go here. And it's going that direction. Alright, so the last one on here, I messed up on this one. It needs to be pointing out, like towards that. And that kind of looks like it was, wasn't it? Uh, I guess it was. Same with that one. I think I have to push them further back, though, or move these back. Because I need this. Uh, no. Actually, that works just fine. I think we're going to take... A... Sp uh, no, a splitter. And it's going right here. Right. Right there. Oh, no, wait. We need a merger, not a splitter. Now that should hook up. Yep, hooks up just fine. Now we just plumb everything up. I guess technically we don't need these here. Because you can just go straight in like that. Alright, we'll just plumb these up. Alright, there you have it. Everything's plumbed up. Nothing's hooked up to electricity, and I don't have the miners working just yet. Um, these are all MK6 conveyor lifts and belts, which is unnecessary. You don't need any of that. Uh, actually, it very well could screw up this whole assembly line. But, I'm gonna leave it like that, just to see what happens. I guess next step, hook up the miners. Uh, nothing needs power to run on this playthrough, but I'm going to hook it up anyway, just for aesthetics. And then, uh, see what happens. I guess I should at least get temporary storage down. Probably don't need this here. We're going to hook this up. I don't know how I'm going to do that just yet. I had a plan in my head. With, like, conveyors going to certain stuff and things over here, and then trucks, and stuff like that. But it's way too early game to figure all that out. So we're going to have another factory over here. I don't know what it's going to build yet. It's going to have to do a um, little more advanced stuff, like reinforced stuff and things. 
But as far as storage here, probably just do some temporary. Uh, where would that be? The organization? Yeah. Storage container, industrial. There's that dimensional depot. Like if you're playing the game for real and you unlock this, you can get resources from anywhere on the map, as long as it's in your inventory. Uh, we're just going to do this for now. I'm going to figure something else out later. Temporary stuff and things. And then this one can go on this top one. <laughs> it's it's a mess. That is not ideal. I don't like that at all. Uh, but it's it's temporary. I'm going to figure something out. Right now I'm just going to hook it up. Very much temporary, but it'll it'll do what we need it to do. It's ugly as sin. Okay. Let's hook up the miners real quick. And then see what happens. Well, that one facing that way. And this one facing this way. And these are MK3s. Alright, there's the top. It's not perfect because you can't really move these around, so it's not totally straight. I might mess around with this later because I don't really like that. Actually, you know what? How would I. What if I did this? There, that's better. That'll work. That's much cleaner. Now... Now I gotta hook this one up. I wanted it on its own, and I just realized something. That's centered... ...and in the way of this one. <laughs> God damn it. What if I moved this out? And then this one on the inside. Alright, let's try that. Let's use this one first. Get this stuff set up down here, and then we'll finish that. Yeah, I don't like this either, but... The way I have this so tight together, it's, it's just gonna have to be like that. I got this hooked up, and I was wrong about isolating, uh, which one is it? This one? It's because it's getting the resources from the same source, so it doesn't need to be isolated at all. Only this side gets isolated. It gets its own machine. Which has to be overclocked. Um, let's see. Alright, so I got that. Got a weird horseshoe look thing going on, which is fine. It's fine. Maybe we'll name this place, like, Horseshoe... Something, something, I don't know. Alright, so now we got that. So I guess we have to.
I guess we have to extend this one more. Is that... <clears throat> excuse me, is that going to be a problem? Hopefully not. No, it is a problem. I gotta leave and go pick up the kid from school. That's a problem. Now the hard part of um, overclocking and underclocking. Some of these machines need to be... Uh, I think one of them needs to be... Actually, no, the constructor is fine. It's one of the smelters. I think it's for the screws that need to be underclocked. And then the miner, one of these needs to be overclocked. I think the one that runs the screws and the rods is the one that needs to be overclocked. And I'm back. Man, those friggin' crotch goblins. Pain in the ass. Alright, so where were we? Um, I guess turn everything on, eh? See what happens. Hopefully it just works. That would be great. Is it on? Is it running? Oh, it's gone. It's running. So this one up here, the iron plates, I believe that miner needs to be overclocked, I think. Hold on, let me look real quick. Yes. Yes, it does. I think it needs to be 270. I should just do the math. Hold on. God damn it, I'm allergic to crotch goblins. Alright. Uh, we need to overclock this. I think it's 270. Alright guys, I think I got it figured out. Everything is green, nothing's paused. Everything seems to be... Like, right at the cusp. But it hasn't paused, it hasn't stopped producing anything. Neither of these. They're all running as they should. So what I did was, everything is MK6 from this point all the way down to the miner. Even this one is MK6. We haven't done this, we'll get to that here after I explain what I've got going on up here. So these two are MK5. Everything going from these splitters this way, MK6, and this one is MK6. The first three right here are MK1, and these three are MK1. It's basically mirrored. And so far... It's working. So far it's working, and we're just gonna leave it like that. The only thing that's overclocked is the miner. It's at 300 a minute. And, uh, yeah. I think this is the first time I've had a factory that is 100% efficient. Um, I guess the only way to find out for real, though, is to hook up the electrical stuff and things so we can get a grid. So I'm going to do that real quick. Hook this up and get a grid. See what it looks like. Okay. It's not pretty. I'm going to deal with the wiring later. Right now I just want to see what it's looking like as far as is everything stable. And it is. We got a flat line which means everything is operating as it should. Absolutely efficient. You guys, this is the first time I've had anything 100%. <laughs> uh, what's weird though is I don't know where this 0.7 is coming from. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if that line is flat, you know? It says no power active. I don't know what that means. Or is that just the... Oh, that's the max. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Max? Shows the amount of power being consumed on this grid. It says 0.7. I don't understand this odd number, but I guess it doesn't really matter. As long as that line is flat, there's no fluctuation at all. And that is freaking epic. The wiring is ugly as sin, but 
Again, I'll deal with that later. Off camera, I'll just do some floor stuff. I guess now it's time to do the bottom. And that's going to be... That's going to be a pain in the ass, really. Um, the grid is not hooked up to this yet. I'm going to wait and then uh, I'll hook up the wiring after. I guess the next thing is turn everything on. All right, we'll let those go, see what I have to do. Let all that saturate, and then I'll turn these on and see how bad everything is. It doesn't look terrible. It looks very organized. Now, it's not exactly realistic, because I'm using MK6. I'm, at this point in time in the game, no one's going to have MK6 unlocked. 120. That's with four of them. So, this side is only using 105 per minute. This is all producing 120 per minute, just these four. Not counting what this is using. So I need to prob- I need to, um... I need to slow these two down, I think. Alright, so my math skills are way off. I'm not entirely sure. These seem to be doing okay. I mean, it's been at this same number for the last 10 minutes, so I think it's fine. The new problem, though, is these. They keep pausing. So somewhere my math is screwed up. I did the math. The intake is 150 a minute. Right? 30. To produce 20. That's 150 a minute. That's what these are producing. 150. So why is it all backed up? What am I not understanding here? It leveled itself out. Now we're flat. What the hell is going on? I didn't even do anything. Did it just have to catch up because it backed itself up? Is this what ended up being full? I think that was the case. I think everything just got all wonky. And it finally caught up with itself. Now we're flat. 710.9. I'm wondering if that point nine is something going on over here. Probably. There is a water issue I can't figure out. I used pumps and all that. I just don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, there you have it. It seems to be doing all right. Yeah, it's looking good. That's still at 25, 26. That's still at 12, 13. I mean, it would be at 100 if I let it, if I turned all these off and let it build up, but I don't care. It's fine. That's doing its thing. I still think this is a, <clears throat> excuse me, I still think these belts probably should be changed, but I don't know, everything looks fine now. Yeah, sweet. There you have it. 300 screws a minute, 210 iron rod a minute, and 200 iron plates a minute. I think next episode we'll clean up this building and make it look good and then start another factory. I have an idea for under here. 
I'm not sure. I thought maybe like, oh, we could put like a little office or something right here, but it doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense. Maybe I could put a... Just to... Can I put a workshop here just to... Fill this in? For shits and giggles? Yeah, there. A little workshop. I don't think it needs power, does it? No. Now, if we need to extend this, we can just add more... ...or more screws or whatever. But yeah. I think that'll work out just fine. I mean, I guess if you want to try building this, go ahead. Maybe you guys can find a flaw in this. I'm sure there's a flaw somewhere. There's got to be. How can there not be? I built it. <laughs> there's a flaw somewhere. But anyway, we're going to end the episode here. And uh, next episode, we'll make the building pretty. Oh, if you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Wallpop Gaming, and I will see you in the next one.